We've all seen interesting pieces of art and wondered what could be the inspiration. Roots. That's where we come from and it's something that affects all of us, from the way we identify ourselves as to how we create things. Jasmine Morell is an artist making it work in New York City. She draws, sculpts, captures images, and creates fun wigs for fashion shoots. What kind of things inspire her? The thing that inspires us all. Our roots. Let me see. I'm, when I'm born in Detroit, and my parents, they were educators, but they were also um, really into agriculture and collecting things. They were into, into um, something that's called um, wabi-sabi, which is a Japanese aesthetic of things of aging. Jasmine also uses recycled organic material, which is a different kind of root. When she was a child, Jasmine's parents influenced the materials she uses. So, uh, my parents were a huge influence. They would be probably, um, people would say like hippies, but they would um, collect a lot of things and make things, furniture and objects out of um, just junk. So, um, growing up around that, it was really, influenced me a lot to make sculptures. Our parents aren't the only roots that affect us. Where our families come from, even hundreds of years ago, can affect our idea of our roots. Um, and I was thinking of, in particular, about um, how dirt, I'm sure that it has a history and a story, you know? And, um, and I was connecting it with actually migrations, you know, um, in particular about my uh, family's migration from um, from Africa to America and from the south to the north. Which Jasmine has realized the importance of her roots. She understands now. Many people are turning back to their roots. History. And so now is this shift where um, the car industries and certain industries are basically dying out in America. You know, and so now many of us are actually turning back to what we originally were doing. We were farming, and you know, so now we have these small eco farms, and we're thinking about sustainability. So it's just this life cycle, you know. Now you're probably wondering how you can show roots in your work. Jasmine created a sculpture out of dirt found in four southern states that may just seem like feet made out of dirt, but it has a deeper meaning. Feet is the only thing that is part of our body that really connects us to the earth, you know, with our body. And no matter where you're from in the world, there's, you know, billions of different migrations that, you know, we all, you know, our ancestors have. You know, they are all, you know, migrating all different parts of the world. So, um, and in that, you know, I'm hoping to, that it will evoke something like, okay, soil, feet, dirt, you know, using common things that, you know, people could connect to themselves, you know. Of course, no one can really know what goes on in an artist's mind. When I'm doing art, I'm not, it's impossible for anyone to get exactly everything that's in my head, you know. Nothing, no, no object is autonomous. Roots mainly affects the idea, not the form of art. Jasmine does modern art. And at the same time, um, you know, I've, I'm interested in kind of minimal ways, you know, of kind of communicating certain ideas, you know. Of more doesn't always mean more. Sometimes less is more. Um, I guess more than anything, what's really important to me is that um, I, you know, I like story, I like story, you know, and I like, I like artwork to not only have a, a concept, but I like to invoke memories and stories through objects, just things that we just would throw away, common everyday things. I like to bring the viewer back into thinking about how these objects basically um, manipulate, they control, they liberate us in many different ways as human beings. 
Art is a hard world to work in. Even if you have proper inspiration and are talented, art is a tough business. But you have to, if you do want to pursue art, you have to know that you will always have two jobs. You have the job of doing your academics and doing whatever, regular everything, everyday, like basic knowledge. And then you have this other world that's your art that you have to study too. Because it's, the art history is just so huge, so much that, you know, you need to know a little bit about it. So you study what you're interested in, what you like. Jasmine Morell has been successful in her art. I've been in a um, few museums in Michigan, several galleries throughout New York and Michigan and South America. If this inspired you to be an artist or you want to be an artist, here's some advice from a professional. Yeah, just do it. You don't just do it. That's it. <laughs> just do art. That's it. You want to do it. You don't need to go to school to do it. If you do, you want to do it professionally to teach and you know, to study it, then, you know, it's an investment. It's a huge investment. It's, you know, it's not easy. <laughs> roots are something we all have. People like Jasmine use their roots every day to inspire them to create something wonderful. You can too.